All right, our next guest is the CEO of Truth Social and the chairman of the president's intelligence advisory board. I'm happy to have Devin Nunes back on the show. Really good to have you back, Mr. CEO. Devin, last time you were on, we discussed the merger between Trump Media and Technology Group and the TAE Technologies. Now, you've started looking for the right location for the first fusion power plant. I would call that site selection. So many variables, Devin, so many variables, taxes, uh, labor, uh, regulatory environments, political stability within the state, I assume it's in the United States, if not, tell us. But what are the things that you look at as a CEO to decide where this, pl this plant is going to go? Yeah, well, thanks, Eric. This is all issues that are at the heart of your show, where you have kind of this situation where new technology is meeting government. And it's so critical that the first site for the first world's first commercial fusion plant be somewhere that the people actually want you. So we've been working with with TAE Technologies, who's the company that we're that we're merging with. That's all under still under the Trump Media and Technology umbrella, the DJT uh, ticker symbol. But what's amazing about this is that it actually for the first project we're looking at three initial reactors. So one is the 50 megawatt uh, commercial reactor. The second one would be the larger one that would compete against essentially any plant that's out there, and that's at the 350 to 500 megawatt size. And then the third reactor would be for advanced advanced research. All that on a 20 acre site. So there's a lot of sites around the around the country that could work and around the world. But obviously, American company, we want to keep this this technology at least for the first stage in the United States of America. Um, but that's, I think, just amazing that it's only on on 20 acres. Now, look, we are going to you all you you produce that much power. You need to be on major transition lines. You want to be very safe and secure. And as you as you said and rightfully point out, you want to be somewhere where the local people actually want you. And so we put out this criteria that is, you know, that you can that you can find online. Uh, and you know, we're actually we're getting calls from from all over the country right now. So it's quite quite interesting the states that uh, that are popping up that want to be on this cusp of of what is really an innovative uh, future for America with with fusion power that, you know, up to a few years ago, everybody thought was, oh, it's always going to be 10 or 20 years off. That's no longer the case today because of the advancements that have been made. And that's why TAE is really the world's premier company because they have so many patents. They've built five different machines uh, reactors in the past. And so now that they're ready to go to this commercial reactor that, that is called Da Vinci, uh, this is why the purpose of our merger and really puts us on it. This is an issue that we have to win. As you know, Eric, you actually sent me the other day uh, the uh, some a few articles on what the Chinese are doing. So you're very well aware of this. People ask me who the competition is, and I say it's China. Yeah, I want to get to that in just one second, uh, Devin, because when you're doing the site and you know your first plant, it's a, you, normally I would say a 10-year uh, forward look. Is this 10, 15, 20? And then the other question is, which of the states are on the short list right now? Well, I would say that um, you know we you want to go somewhere the first one that where you can build three, right? So that's why we put that in the criteria. You want to be able to do three because you don't want to. As this is new technology, you want to be able to start the first one and then also be thinking about the second one and then and then also the third. Obviously, it depends on you know these you know at three hundred and fifty to five hundred to five hundred megawatt, you start building these these large ones out. You're going to need a location that can that can handle uh, a lot of a, a lot of power being put onto the transmission line. So there's a lot of locations around the U.S. that that work. Uh, I can tell you that uh, we've been I think we've been contacted now by I think six or seven uh, different entities uh, or different states, but six or seven different states now uh, have uh, have reached out uh, through different entities. So it's. It's moving fast, and and we're you know we're excited about it because, you know, look, the United States has been sitting around here doing nothing for the last, except building bird killers, as the president calls them, with the windmill with the windmills, and, and then the solar panels that we're buying from China. This is actually putting America back on the move. If people talk about energy dominance, that's what this yeah. is all about. And as we talked on your show last time. You can do all the AI that you want, build all the data centers you want, have all this great technology, robotics. But if you don't have power, it doesn't matter. 
And that's why China, China's so far ahead of us because they've invested in traditional nuclear fission plants and they built coal plants and they built gas plants while we sat here doing nothing. So that's why it's so exciting to find a company, find a privately held company over almost nearly 30 years, investors like Google, Chevron, Stanley Druck and Miller, Chuck Schwab, you know, these are the who's who and marrying them up with with our company is just so exciting because I think, you know, between you know, kind of the the regulatory issues that that you know I have so much experience with, uh, and then working with these great scientists, the world's best scientists, uh, it, it's just a great it's a great match and an exciting project yeah, to yeah. be part of. Yeah, just just you know, I've done energy my whole entire career before TV. Yeah. And you want to be near some population centers. You also have to have the you know the distribution. You have to be able to get the energy produced and to the places where you're going to use it. I'm thinking. Pennsylvania one. I'm also thinking Tennessee Valley Authority, given its quasi-government partnership going on, whatever, you don't have to get into it. Um, I sent you the article because NVIDIA was pushing forward in this with China. So speed is of the essence. Can you beat NVIDIA in China to, to this U.S. market? Well, look, it, it's all about, you never quite know what the Chinese have or don't have, right? So, because they don't always tell the truth. But I, I do believe just based on what you know, what I know now from the from what TAE has discovered over the last twenty five years, I think China is looking at a few different ways to go about it. There are news reports, but as you know, this is done by fake news and legacy media, so you don't quite know what's true. But this much I, I know is true about it about the Chinese, Eric. They're serious about doing big things. That's why they're producing three to four times more power than we do today in the United States of America. They produce it in China. So they probably know what I know. Uh, they know that, and they've probably been investing billions of dollars where, you know, in, in, in our case in the United States, you know, we've had this private company do an investment. There's a couple other fusion companies, but for the most part, we've sat idle. I think we've only built two new old style, old style fission reactors uh, in the last, um, you know, in the last 25 years, 30 years. Hmm. What so any big any big uh, new venture, especially a venture like this with a new technology, you have execution risk. What what keeps CEO because you're going to be so co CEOs with the TAE technology CEO? What keeps Devin Nunes up at night worrying about execution risk? You know, it's really about in my mind, it's about keeping everything on track. Right? There's so many things that have to happen here. Now, the good thing is with with fusion. Uh, it is it, it is essential, especially if, if we're successful doing the burning the boron. It's radioactive free, so it's really safe. So you know, meeting those deadlines, right? So finding the right location, fri- finding the right site, bringing the right players together, making sure that we can foster uh, an, an environment for for this company to succeed. I mean, what we bring to the table is we're a public company. We have access to the capital markets. We have you know a, a very well hilled balance sheet. Uh, that uh, that most companies you know d- do not have, and then of course we have this this advantage and 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 just kind of understanding the do's and don'ts of the road. I mean, these are common sense things, Eric, that you and I know, but you know a lot of people don't understand, and that is that you know picking the right location is critical. I've seen how many deals have you seen over the years where they go in, they think that they think the local community wants them, they get think that the state wants them, uh, they get you know hundreds of millions of billions of dollars into the project. And then all of a sudden people pull the plug. Oh, I don't want that. Not in my backyard. We don't want that. So it's right. so important to go in first, finding exactly the right places, the right, you know, locations that don't sounds just meet like, the- <laughs> sounds like, sounds like you're making a, uh, an outreach to various states. You want us prove you want us and maybe yeah. cut you a tax deal, which would be phenomenal. And and by the way, it's it's so much better to be in an environment where they actually want you there and they don't have Well, look at, and, and Eric, I'll tell you, <laughs> you, you know this issue very, very well. I mean, you mentioned TVA. I mean, it's an, that's an obvious place. I mean, the TVA is a, is, is a big, you know, it's, it's a large, um, yep. you know, a, a large landmass. You know, I think it's seven, some seven different states, TVA, Tennessee Valley Authority. And, you know, the, what I've called this project is Manhattan 2.0. And so ironically, the TVA was heavily involved in the first Manhattan project that then led to 
the first atomic power that was used domestically uh, for for you know on the, you know on you know first in the nuclear navy and then uh, these fission plants that came along. So the TVA is a, is a logical location, but even with the TVA, you got to make sure that you pick uh, the right location. And I'm not saying, I mean, obviously, the TVA is on the list. It, it's a it's a no brainer, as you know. Uh, but look, there's going to be a, a lot of other states and locations that have already reached out uh, that are not in the TVA, but 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 that do definitely do qualify. So it's going to be an, an interesting process. That's, that's it, like I said, this is exciting. It's exciting to be doing something where you have the country on the move again, looking to really. You know, th- th- there's nothing more important than this: lowering the price of power to people, uh, so that we can get be competitive in manufacturing, competitive in data centers, AI. All of this is so exciting. I mean, you've seen, you know, Elon's talking, you know, about what AI can do. But with AI, it's going to be able to do a lot of things and make life a lot easier. It's going to really disrupt the 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 planet as we know it. But it it can't happen without, without power, clean, without abundant energy. power. Right. It is it is literally a sieve sucking energy and, and infusion the, the this new new outlook, new frontier for, for power, especially for the AI that will give us a complete head start in the AI war. And we want to be first. This is the one that we want to win, the AI battle. Devin Nunes, always good having you on, chairman of the President's Intelligence Advisory Board, CEO of Truth. Media Group and also the upcoming merger with the TAE Technologies. Really looking forward to it, Devin. And and as things progress, please come back and tell us more. Thanks a lot, Eric. Thanks for having me. All righty, folks. We'll be back. Two and a half minutes. 